Hey, happy campers. Todd here, Great American RV Superstores. Today we want to go over a rack and pinion slide and how to manually override that slide if we can't get it in with a push of a button. And see here on the driver's side of the unit, this is a rack and pinion slide. We have this cylinder right here. That's what the worm gear for the motor actually works off of. And we got a couple tracks that run across the bottom into the frame. So like I said, driver's side right here, the override is on the passenger side. Directly across from the slide out and that gold cylinder that we saw through the frame right here, we have a little uh, pipe with a nut sticking out. That is our override. We can also see, hey, we got a nice little hole cut here. If you have a slide out in the way, they may not have a hole, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rod right here with a three quarter inch socket on it. This should have came with your unit and we're gonna override it. Simple as this, stick it in the hole, put it over that nut and we're gonna crank, okay? Slide out's coming in, minimal effort to get this thing to operate and that's it, all right? You run it in until you can't run it anymore. Go on the other side and make sure that slide out's in. I do not suggest putting an impact on here, maybe a, a low power drill, but really that the, they give you a handle for a reason. The equipment that they put on there can easily break if you put something in with too much high torque on it. So I suggest using the handle. It's really not that hard to crank it in. Hope this video helps you out in the jam, store it in the bank in the event that it ever happens. Whatever the case may be, we got plenty more videos out there. Keep learning, keep watching, keep sharing, liking, commenting, all those fun things on YouTube and Facebook. We really appreciate the love. We love seeing the comments. Keep them coming. Thanks for watching Great American RV Superstores, where we bring the how-to to you. Make it